So today we uh, we got the fifth wheel in the back of the truck finally after about two to three hours. Um, the we can watch the video of that. Yeah. Here. Yep. All right, y'all. We are hooking up the fifth wheel, um, the hitch off the camper. Hooking up the hitch so we can go get the camper. frame that holds the fifth wheel in. <laughs> fifth wheel? Fifth. Fifth wheel. 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 I don't see any picture. issue on how I'm saying it. Picture. Picture? Picture is what you like a picture of tea. May I get picture. some tea please? A picture of tea. It's a picture. No, a picture. Picture? Picture. Okay. Uh we it was one of the uh i guess i don't know what to call it but the little knob that goes into the truck that locks in was not long enough and we tried to adjust it and we broke a carter pin uh in there had to go to walmart try to find one couldn't find one we went to a auto parts store by found adjusting one. don't you mean like bait Yes, by taking a hammer. Uh, yeah. yeah. Ended up having having to pull into a car wash because no one's going to wash their car in the pouring rain. So we got in there, uh, got that the fifth wheel in there finally, and then we uh, drove down to Winston Salem, which is three hours. Picked up our camper. The pin still wouldn't work though. No, they were too short. So uh, after all that, the pin still yeah. didn't work. Well, we didn't get it <coughs> put in yet. The, uh, the little picture frame, one of the uh, little pins that go into the um, little hole. We tried to make it longer, broke the Carter pin. Had a really good Carter pin. Um, First get some parts. Didn't have one. First Walmart didn't have one, had to go to a auto port store. Now it's pouring the rain, so we had to come to a car wash underneath it trying to get it fixed. Because we had already left the house. So here we go. finally made it to the dealership and uh, the pin that I got for the fifth wheel I got it at Walmart go figure it didn't work but it's uh, it's got the uh, the built-in thing on the back here so it don't slide through I thought that would work but it goes through but I can't get it to turn so I had to come down here and get the kind that goes on it anyways the real one so make sure when you're buying these do not get a fancy looking one it's not worth it so let's put these on and then we're gonna hook up the the camper
We drove back, didn't have any issues, which Just is surprisingly because it's the first time I ever drove a 40 foot fifth wheel. No, people, uh, they forget that you're, huge. you're hauling a 1,100 pound trailer behind you and that you can just stop and go whenever you please or merge into other lanes. <laughs> we had a Prius that uh, blew their horn. Maybe a Prius uh, incident. Uh, we won't talk about it. We won't talk about it. It was a little heated incident. But anyways, we finally got up here, back up to the mountains. Um, broke the number one rule. We got there in the dark. Broke the number one rule uh, at our own campground. Pouring the rain. Pouring. And freezing. Yeah, it was it was freezing. It wasn't that cold. The rain it, was cold. Yeah. Mud. Mud everywhere. It's been raining here forever. And, so much uh, mud. Tried to pull into a couple of spots, and we were just making mud tried holes. To back into a couple yeah. Of spots. So we ended up. Going somewhere else. Anyways. No, we stayed at the campground. We just chose a different site. Yeah. So. But, um, anyways, we, uh, yeah. we finally got it back into a spot and got it set up. We're going to start putting our stuff into it pretty soon. Uh, so, I guess we'll be yeah. videoing all that stuff coming up. But, yeah. It was a uh, ordeal. Even anyways. though everything went nice. So, that's enough chit chat while well, they just watch the ordeal for themselves yep all right